Hello guys, how's it going? Welcome to Valkyria Chronicles 4 for the PC. I've been patiently waiting for this to release and it's finally out today, September 25th, 2018. I was a big fan of the original Valkyria Chronicles and I played it on my PS3 back in 2008. I still consider it one of the top RPGs for that platform and I really had a lot of fun playing it. 10 years later we have the fourth installment, but really the first game that's taking the tactical RPG elements over from the original. So I'm super excited about that. Many reviewers are stating that this game is very much like the first game and that's a good thing since the first game was so good. So what is Valkyrie Chronicles 4? It's a tactical role playing game developed and published by Sega. It was released in Japan for the PS4 in March 2018 and is scheduled to be released worldwide in September 2018 in addition for the Xbox One, Nintendo Switch and Microsoft Windows which is what I'm playing it on right now. Valkyria Chronicles 4 takes place in the same time frame as the original one, but focuses on a new cast of characters. I'm super excited to play this game in its entirety, and I really hope you guys enjoy this video and the walkthrough series to come. Alright, so I'm going to go into new game, select the difficulty, you can change the difficulty after starting the game, uh, play on normal. The day our hometown burned, that was the day we enlisted. At last, we had something to believe in, something worth fighting for. None of us yet knew, we couldn't foresee, what this war would cost us. It was a battlefield, but it was where we grew up. Wind out of the northeast, clear skies, and uh, uh, uh. Uh. Huh? nap time's over. Come on, Raz. I wasn't napping, just resting my eyes. You gotta relax, man. You are way too freaking tense. Your hands are shaking. <laughs> so sack up, Commander. It's about time we get ready to roll out. Let's show those imps what's coming to them. Yeah. Shift in the wind. There. Huh? You getting those wind whispers again? Imperials incoming! All right, boys! It's go time! Squad E! Do you read me? Squad E! This is Commander Claude Wallace. Squad E! The Imperial forces are on the move! Heading for your position! Ready to engage. Do not let them break through to the front line! We're counting on you! Roger that. Over. Good luck, Squad E. They won't advance until they're done shelling the area. We should have time to prepare. Kai, take a group to that southern hill and slow down their left flank. Raz, take two soldiers east and make some noise for me. You got that? Gotcha. Keep up or get left behind! At your command! Hoffin, roll out! Squad E, ready to engage. All right. Just remember your training. We can do this. Eliminate all Imperial hostiles. Let's stop their advance. Squad E, move out. Wow, we're already put into battle. I guess this is a tutorial. I'm locked, loaded, and in freaking invincible. Okay. First, we'll see how they respond to some infantry. 
All right. Move out. Claude. Is this his name? Okay. Claude. Looks yeah. Like everyone's in position. Finally. Uh, I can't wait to start. I'm their commander. It's up to me to get everyone out alive. Concentrate. Pretty young for a commander. We can do this. I can do this. Tutorial command mode. When combat starts, you'll see a map of the area and your unit's position. This is referred to as command mode. Here you'll select the unit you'd like to move based on the terrain and the respective position to the enemy. Move the cursor into Raz using the left stick or jump to him with the D-pad. And press A to switch to action mode. Okay, where's Raz? Is this him right here? Uh, can I zoom in? No. Alright, let's go action mode. Tutorial action mode. Selecting unit switches them to action mode where they can move and attack. Move a unit with action mode and with the left stick. AP gauge at the bottom of the screen will slowly deplete while a unit is in motion. Once that soldier runs out of AP, they will be left unable to move. Alright, just like the first game. I think we're heading for those bags over there, sandbags. Um, and they're not looking at us, so... Attacking. Now that they have moved into position, it's time to attack. Press the uh, right back button while in action mode to enter target mode. Move the crosshairs with the right stick. Press the left back or right back to quickly swap between targets. Press A to attack. If the enemy survives, they might counterattack. So try to make every shot count. Yeah, uh, exactly like the first point. game. Let's crouch here. So if you look at the top there, it tells you how many shots you're taking and how many shots it takes to kill. So he's good against uh, personal, not good against armor or area. He's way too far. He's way too far. So he's the only closest guy. And we always want to aim for the head. Uh, so let's see if this works. Wow, that quick. Ending actions. Troops can only attack once per action. Once the unit is done moving and attacking, end the action to return to command mode. Press uh, select to end the unit's action. Uh, that can end a unit's action even if that unit has left their AP or has not yet attacked. Pressing B can also end your action, in which case a confirmation prompt will appear. Use whichever method you prefer. Okay. Oh, I probably should have moved a little bit more. Way. I can't break through this. Why not? You're Kai. Right? Looks like she's either the scout or the sniper. A sniper. Okay, I can see her hat. Are you really getting tripped up over some common foot soldiers? Why don't you ever stop and think? Oh, shut up! Just hurry and take them out, will ya? Thought you'd never ask. Yeah, she is sniper. Oh, snipers are excellent at uh, taking out infantry. Uh, let's see. Tutorial snipers. The sniper class specializes in shooting at enemies from afar. Zoom in and out during target mode by moving the right stick up or down. Use a scope to line up headshots. And that's what we're going to do. Line up some headshots. Alright, this should be easy. How about this guy? You think I can get this guy? Whew, he's really far. I'll go this I'll go safe and get this guy. Headshot baby. Didn't take much. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna move her closer now. Since I still have some AP points. Move her here. Crouch to get some extra D. And I think I can move him again because I have a CP. So CP at the top there allows me to move. I got this. Or do a second action so he can keep moving. I'm gonna move him to this one here. Sandbags. Sandbags on the field provide cover. Move behind a sandbag and press A when crouch appears to take cover. Crouch it makes it harder to hit and negates extra headshot damage. Take cover behind sandbags as you move. 
don't think I'll make that sandbag, so I'll just crouch here. And I think that should be the end of our turn. CP and ending phases. Uh, so selecting a unit in command mode uses up one command point, or CP. CP reflects the number of times you can control a unit per player phase. When your CP reaches zero, the player phase ends and the enemy phase begins. Press B or select to end the player phase with leftover CP. Be mindful of your positioning before the enemy phase begins. Yeah, I know where I am. Alright, let's see. Let's see what they do. So from what I remember in this phase, if an enemy gets within um, the sights of my units, uh, they'll start attacking automatically. So it's smart to put them in places where the enemy would be moving. That way we get like extra shots on them. Yeah, I know. Soldiers, forward! Now's our chance to take the offensive. Backup has arrived. Tutorial CP and consecutive actions. Command points are replenished at the start of each player's phase. CP can be used on the same unit multiple times in a row. This is useful for cutting into enemy lines, hurrying past dangerous terrain, or finishing off a tenacious enemy. That said, they'll tire out and start each consecutive action with less AP than the last. CP that goes unused during one phase will however roll over to the next. How you choose to manage CP will determine the fate of your squad. So we can bank on CP. So, we do scouts. What's command? Oh, I don't know what that is. S X is unit list. We got two scouts. I got two scouts. And I got a sniper. So I'm gonna get the sniper out. Snipe that guy easy. I think I can make that sandbag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can make this sandbag. Aiming and weak points. Critical hits such as headshots deal greater damage than normal. Obviously, use uh, left stick to quickly aim. If using a controller, the D-pad provides more precise control. Shots fired will generally land within the circle marked in your line of sight. Increase your chance of landing a hit by lining up your shot so that the target is well within the circle. To kill shows how many shots must connect to eliminate the target. This number indicates whether your shots will reach the enemy or if you're aiming at a weak point. And I think we're aiming at a weak point. Yeah, I think I can get that. My aim shouldn't be that bad. Nice. Right on target. I'm gonna end her turn. Now scouts uh, are known for moving uh, great distances. They have the most uh, AP points, I guess. So they can travel great distances uh, fairly quickly. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go to him because uh, the minute I get closer, uh, he'll start firing at me. So we'll shoot from here. Time to kill. Let's see. Let's see if this works. Going down. Nice. Let's keep going. Not bad. Target destroyed. Here comes a tank. Oh, that's a heavy tank. Busting out the tanks, huh? This one's all yours, Claude. It's our turn now. Fire up the engine, Miles. Yes, sir. Okay, the Hoffins moving out. Destroy the enemy tank. The Hoffins moving out. Is that what they're called? Hoffins? Is that the name of their tank, I'm assuming? Tutorial tanks. Alright, tanks boast firepower and endurance far beyond that of foot soldiers. They can withstand gunfire from enemy infantry, making them a solid wall for your soldiers to use as cover. Tanks can destroy objects with a red X on the command ma mode map either by firing cannon or driving into them. Tanks cannot fit into narrow passages, so advance with infantry in such cases. So tanks can't get in there. Uh, so he's gonna have to go through this way. I got two more points. And from what I remember, tanks uh, use two points, so... 
Oh, out. I guess someone doesn't. I'm gonna break these. I don't want to go this way. Oh, I don't want to turn too much. I don't want to break that one. Shame about the flowers. Huh? What about the flowers? Okay. I know there's different ammo types too. So attack warfare tanks have three methods of, methods of attack. Armor piercing or AP shells, mortar rounds, and a mounted machine gun. Armor piercing shells are effective against tanks and other vehicles. Explosive mortars hit a broad area with a ragnite blast, ideal against infantry. And mortars travel in an arc, aim for the center of multiple foes to maximize, maximize firepower and preserve limited ammo. The machine gun is designed to strike foes who are too close for the mortar and to intercept incoming enemies. Press uh, X to switch a tank's weapon. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to use the AP rounds because it's a tank. And ideally, you'd want to hit that uh, the engine thing in the back there. But uh, since we're not in a good position, I'll just aim for the front Fire! or the side. And there. I'm gonna use him again. Tanks weak points. Uh, the glowing blue radiator plate at a tank's rear is its weak points, where even standard bullets can deal damage. Try to get behind the enemy tanks for a chance to take them down while being careful not to expose your own rear to hostile fire. No problem. Let's go this way. I don't know. Can I make it? I think I'll make it. Come on, come on, come on. Check which way the enemy's go, go, go. Yeah. All right, here you go. Our operation complete. That was pretty good. Pretty good uh, tutorial. We didn't get any of the uh, rocket guys though. Anyone else want to try? Squaddy don't take shit from nobody. Claude knows what I'm. Whoa, you okay? The flowers. Uh. Getting emotional? Oh yeah, they didn't stand a chance. Huh? Come on, man. You're supposed to be commander of the Ranger Corps. A commander still has a heart, same as a foot soldier. Rank doesn't make this any less painful to see. Oh, but crying over flowers? Even little girls have bigger balls these days. <laughs> Maybe. But what matters is that their hearts... All right, I get it. Power of the heart, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Look, just go turn in your report already, will ya? can't go get sloshed if we're stuck here on standby. Good point. I'll head to the command center. Yeah, you do that. And tell the brass to send us tougher imps to fight next time, yeah? Alright, so this is the combat report. Ooh, a rank. Uh, one tank defeated. So get some extra experience points. I forgot what DCT is, I think that's the currency, but uh, can't wait to go into that screen to upgrade some of my troops. That's part of the fun. Operation Northern Cross. New episode has been added. Tutorial book mode. Discover the untold history of the second European war by viewing this chronicle. Select a new episode to continue. Saving. Open the menu by pressing Y, save to record your progress. Anything can happen out there, remember to save before, during, and after any combat operations. So everything in this game is uh, being told by this uh, storybook, it's pretty clever. So as you progress, uh, more items are placed in this storybook. Um, you can easily go back and, and redo them, like I could probably go back and do this again. Yeah, and I could view this cutscene. Uh, and oh look, there's a flower there. Uh, but let's save. Looks like there's an auto save function already. I'll save this new file here. Save complete. Okay. All right. Let's uh, go to the next cutscene. Sir, First Lieutenant Claude Wallace reporting in. Good work out there. Glad you're still in one piece. We're just about to go over our next operation. 
you're late. I'm sure you know standard procedure is to report immediately after a mission. Oh, Minerva. You're reporting too? That's lieutenant to you, Claude. Don't get smart with me just because we share rank. I've got seniority. <clears throat> Sorry, Lieutenant Minerva Victor. <laughs> well, let's get started. Minerva, give us a situation report. Yes, sir. Three months have passed since we went to war. I won't sugarcoat it. They're steamrolling us. By this point, a third of our territory is under Imperial control. This is officially a crisis. If it's that bad already, we won't even be able to sustain a war effort. You're right. And the Empire's only gaining momentum. If this draws out much longer... The Federation's finished. Uh. If we fall, that's it for Europa. Nobody else could stand against them. The Empire would take total control. It'd be a fascist continent ruled with an iron fist. We can't let that happen. Europa's future depends on us. Which brings us to now. The top brass finally got off their seats and sent us a plan. A counterattack that can turn the war around in one fell swoop, ready to be put into action. What are the orders? We put all our force into one strike. Break through their defenses and hit them where they'll hurt most. Soldiers, supplies. We'll use all reserves we have to make a final push and capture one crucial enemy base. And we lucky few of the 32nd Armored Ranger Battalion have been handpicked as the vanguard. Couldn't ask for a better mission, sir. Which enemy base are we targeting? Think bigger. We take this base, and we take their will to fight. But how could any one target mean that much to... Wait, you don't mean... You always were a clever boy, Claude. I think you've got it. Our target is the Imperial capital of Schwarzgrad. Let's fight back! Operation Northern Cross. The year was 1935 EC. Two great powers vied to control the continent of Europa. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, a dictatorship known as the Empire. In the West, a network of loosely allied democracies banded together to form the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral, Ragnite, for their prosperity, its growing scarcity leading inevitably to war. With its overwhelming military might, the Empire captured one nation after another. While the Federation struggled to maintain unity, every battle driving them further back against the wall. Three months have passed. With seven-tenths of Europa falling to the Imperial War Machine, the Federation places all its hope in a desperate counterattack. Operation Northern Cross. Six million soldiers fought in this campaign. It claimed more lives than any other in the Second European War. Federation historians call it the Eastern Theater but the Empire knows it as the War for the Motherland. Forward, soldiers! This is the battle you've been training for! Operation Northern Cross begins now! We'll wipe those Imperials clear off the face of Europa! Our time has come! Forward, to victory! Countless soldiers fought and died on those fields, struggling to make their ideals a reality. Ordinary people, thrust into extraordinary circumstances, fighting in the hopes that they would see a brighter future. What follows here is a record of those brave warriors, a record of that battle against the dark. Based on the diary of one Claude Wallace, the commander of the Federation's Gallian Squad E, Ooh, Valkyrie Chronicles 4. Finally. That is a lot of people there. Turn in the page. Chapter 1. The Battle of Fort Crest. New episode has been added. Good news, Claude. HQ has awarded you with a medal. 
Oh, shiny. Meritorious Service Medal awarded. Received an accessory as a reward. Cap bullets. What does that mean? This wasn't in the original game. Equ equipping an accessory to a soldier can boost certain stats. Your accessories can be equipped from the uniform section of the equipment menu. Try a few of them on for size. Know that you can only equip up to the number of accessories you own. Alright, how do I do that? Uh, maybe I wasn't reading it properly. Anyways, we'll just we'll, uh, continue with this next uh, mission. Chapter 1, the Battle of Fort Crest. Picture perfect. March the 10th. At long last, we have finally entered Imperial territory. The ferocity of the Federation counterattack caught the Empire off guard. Battle by battle, town by town, we're pushing back the front, with no signs of slowing down. The road to Schwarzgrad is a long one, running at least 1,500 kilometers from friendly territory into the heart of the Empire. But at the end of it lies our target, the capital city. We have a long trek ahead of us, but for now, morale is high. Everyone here believes in this operation. Everyone is praying it'll succeed. <laughs> I guess the Empire's not so tough after all, huh, Commander? Give them one good stomp and, and all of a sudden they're running off home. Huh? So are you gonna take a picture of everything we pass? Here, let me have a look at it. Uh, hey, Raz, come on! <laughs> Stop it! Really? You're wasting my film! Wasting? No chance! What you got here is a picture of a future hero! <gasps> you take one too, eh, Kai? Yeah, maybe. Uh -huh. There you go. That's a keeper. Uh, damn it, Miles! The hell was that for? Freaking hurt, Quiet. man! I told him to stop the tank. Huh? Everything okay? The wind shifted. Looks like we got enemies. New episode. Uh, I don't know. How do I get to those tabs on the right? I guess they're not unlocked yet. Tactical obstacle. They brought out the big guns. A blast that big could wipe out a whole squad. Easy. Let's keep moving. A rendezvous point with Squad F should be nearby. Flash. Thunder. That's the password. Next time, give us the response before you scare us shitless. Apologies. I didn't mean to frighten you. Follow me. Lieutenant Victor is waiting. Who? Oh, you mean Minerva. And you are... Corporal Crystal Ward, from Squad F. Indeed. I have the honor of answering to Minerva Victor, the strongest and smartest officer in the army. <laughs> Uh... <clears throat> I assume you saw that explosion. Oh, we saw it all right. They must be packing serious heat. A 21 centimeter howitzer. Currently, our worst nightmare. It must have a range of at least 10 kilometers. We can't advance with that thing around. Just so. Our mission is to capture that cannon. Commander! Good work leading Squad E so far, Claude. Your slow pace, however, does leave something to be desired. We saw cannon fire, so we've been proceeding with caution. Keep your excuses. As I said before, the success of Operation Northern Cross hinges on our swift advance. Time is of the essence. I know. You try hustling with a huge cannon up your ass. Oh, wait! You already tried and failed. Down, boy. Claude, have you not housebroken your squad? 
the hell did you say? I'd appreciate it if you didn't insult my soldiers. They're people, not pets. Then I expect them to act like it. I'm not the one wagging my tongue. Soldiers who step out of line are often the first to die. Remember that, Sergeant Raz. Yeah, yeah. Hope you make it out alive, too. <sighs> um, Commander? Uh, there's a good view from the clearing. Maybe we could brief them there. Claude, come with me. A new episode has been added. Alright, Old Fortress. Allow me to explain your next mission. As you know, Fort Crest has a 21 centimeter howitzer that's blocking our advance. It might just look like an old castle turned into a makeshift fort, but they've stationed quite a few troops to defend the cannon. If we get too close, those turrets on the walls will mow us down. So when does our own cannon get here? That howitzer already destroyed it. We were outranged. Blown up already? How long will the replacement take? The bridge was destroyed too, so the artillery tractor can't proceed. It will take at least seven days. Though we do have plenty of infantry en route. Doesn't matter how many foot soldiers we get. Without a cannon, we're just waiting around. Not necessarily. Huh? Time is of the essence. We don't have a week to wait. You're as sharp as ever. Like he says, we can't afford to wait. We'll have to capture the fort without artillery. That's too reckless. Those turrets would fill us with more holes than golly and cheese. It's a dangerous mission, I know. But those are your orders. This isn't your local militia. This is what you signed up for when you joined the Edinburgh Army. You're right. We enlisted to crush the Empire, not to commit suicide. Then allow me to clue you in on something. Crystal, tell them the news. Yes, ma'am. This morning, the Empire invaded Gallia. They've... invaded? I knew it was only a matter of time. What about our hometown? Is Hoffman okay? All we know is that the battle broke out near the border, at Citadel Girlandio. The Imperial Army, however, is being led by Prince Maximilian himself. Gallia's prospects look grim. Huh? Is there nothing we can do? If Operation Northern Cross goes as planned, the Empire won't have the luxury of staying on the offensive. Our only option is to complete the mission as soon as possible. Guess we've got no choice then. If our home's in the Empire's sights, then we've got to protect it! Yeah, let's do it for Gallia! Yep, so been added.